Have you ever dreamed so hard that the next day you thought your dream was reality? If yes, what was your dream? Mystery of Stuff I once broke the news to my family that our next-door neighbor had died. A couple of days later I had to explain that I was mistaken and that she is alive and well. Did you tell your neighbor, and if so how did they react? No I didn't mention it. The neighbor is elderly so it would definitely be rude. In the dream my wife told me about it. I was totally convinced until I saw the lights on the next night. When I commented about the lights being on as being odd my wife was like what the hell are you talking about? I said you told me yesterday that neighbor passed away, didn't you? Of course my parents were friends with the neighbor, so I had called them earlier in the day to break the bad news. So I got to call and unbreak it and get made fun of for not being able to tell dreams from reality. I dreamed my dog was at my brother's house, being neglected by my brother and harassed by his little kids. I woke up angry, pissed that I was going to have to drive in the rain to get my dog and bring him home. For probably a full minute, I just lay in bed, absolutely fuming. Then I remembered that my dog had died almost 10 years ago. It was like being punched in the gut. Not only was I sad about my dog, but I was also really disturbed and disoriented. It felt like my brain had malfunctioned. The feeling of being disconnected from my mind, it was a scary thing. I've had dreams where the places I go feel so familiar. I wake up and wonder if they may actually exist. Keep dreaming about meeting up with different friends and family to hang out, and then we end up shopping in a store. Same specific store, same setup and merch. Different dreams throughout the years though. Never been to a store like that in real life though. Same thing for me I have had multiple dreams, all with different plot lines so not exactly recurring, at the same shopping mall which doesn't exist. Is it for some reason a very compressed mall that looks like a labyrinth and it's all yellowish with rounded entrances and sometimes hard to go upstairs because the stairs are awfully tall? I know it's really specific but imagine if someone has actually been on that Dream Mall 2 LMAO, I have dreamt about that place like 5 times, but all on different plot lines too. I had a dream that I fell off of a cliff and was heading for solid ground. I had heard that you usually wake up right before you hit the ground, but not me. I hit the ground and everything went black. I remember my eyes were closed shut and I kept asking myself am I dead? I woke up in my bed and thought I was a ghost who didn't move on into the afterlife and that I was stuck in purgatory or something. Needless to say my mom was weirded out when I asked her if I was dead with a dead serious face. I still remember that years later. Those types of nightmares suck. I had a similar when I was a kid. In the dream I was seated pillion behind my mother on her scooter, when a giant pothole appeared on the road and the impact made me fall on the road with a great impact. My brain made me feel the pain, I could feel the injury where the skin had been torn and the gash on my face. Yes. I was studying Rhapsody in Blue at the time, and there's this tricky repeated note passage near the end that I just couldn't get. One night I dreamed that I absolutely nailed it. Next day, I thought it was something that actually happened, went around cocky and not practicing until sometime around noon when I realized that it was a dream and I was an idiot. Surprised no one else has mentioned this, I haven't had a cigarette in 19 years. Numerous times I've dreamt that I had one and it led to weeks, in the dream, of being a smoker again. I've woken up bummed out about it, but with a reluctant acceptance about it, like, well I'm back at it, might as well be back at it attitude that is hard to shake. Yeah, it happens a surprising amount. My brain likes to take information and predictions on how my day will go that I made the previous day, and use it in dreams. Probably the most recent and memorable ones is when I had dreamed about starting one of my major yearly projects, only to realize halfway through my day that I had dreamed about it and had yet to start. It isn't a particularly fun phenomenon, as it confuses me more often than not. I can distinguish the realistic ones that are implausible, like ones that involve action movie-like scenarios, 
almost immediately upon waking but the subtle shit mixes with the other things I can recall about that specific scenario and is harder to distinguish because it's usually a small thing that's entirely plausible. I sometimes have super intense action dreams where a good friend and I are up against the world in some dire, overused Hollywood plot. Conspiracy thrillers, taking down billionaires in covert missions, overthrowing a corrupt politician, it's all there. I know they're not real, but it makes me feel a little more empowered when I wake up to make the coffee. My fiancé died a week ago at age 33. Every night I dream he's alive. And every morning I look for him and have to remember he is gone and not coming home. Sometimes multiple times a day because my sleep is erratic. It was the same for the weeks of his hospitalization. I don't know if I want the dreams to end or not. The one where you get up, sit on the bed for 5 minutes dreading that you have to get up, and then reluctantly get ready, and go to whatever you needed to go only to realize that you actually pressed snooze on your alarm instead of getting up, and that you're still sleeping. Getting up twice sucks. Mystery of Stuff